The Studebaker Avanti was a chapter of automotive history all to itself. In 1963, Porsche had brought out its first 911. Lamborghini was developing its 350 GT, and Chevrolet had premiered its Corvette Stingray. The United States was turning out cars as never before, with Chevrolet making some 10,000 a day. The long-standing but now struggling Studebaker Corporation threw its new sports coupe into the fray, the Avanti. Studebaker had signed on a big name in the automotive design world. French-American industrial designer Raymond Louis had designed the Coca-Cola bottle, the Shell logo, and the Lucky Strike cigarette package. Now he was Studebaker's last hope and tasked with making the Avanti a success. It was radically different and indeed forward-looking with an innovative chassis and powerful drivetrain. It was avant-garde on wheels. Uli Vellauer, president of the Swiss Studebaker Club, is a great admirer of pioneer designer Raymond Louis and his classic creations. Louis was aiming for a lightweight, streamlined car with low fuel consumption. His motto was, ugliness doesn't sell. In the Avanti's case, beauty is truly in the eye of the beholder. The contours were unaccustomed, especially for the time. But a closer look and a good eye for detail reveals the real beauty of the Avanti's revolutionary form. Single seats, circular dials, a stick shift, and simple interior were unusual in American cars at the time. It has more the look and feel of a French or Italian luxury car. The light and spacious interior seats four adults comfortably, another unusual aspect for a 1960s coupe. The Avanti safety features included an integrated roll bar. The body was made of polyester, a cutting edge material that in 1963 was still causing some problems in production. The polyester, the polyester back then was not very good quality, explains Uli Velauer. It caused the paint to crack, which demanded more intensive maintenance. The engine is phenomenally powerful, but even with its disc brakes and fine aerodynamics around fast curves, the Avanti shows its age and origins. On straight sections with a top speed of 190 kilometers per hour, it more than lives up to its name. It set all manner of land speed records for factory stock cars back in the day. The Avanti's engine is a 4.7-liter, 240-horsepower V8. The optional supercharger added nearly 100 horsepower more. In 1964, after turning out just 4,600 vehicles, production was stopped. Two years later, Studebaker was bust, but the Avanti outlived its maker. Two former dealers bought the Avanti name, production facilities, and tooling, and hand-built replicas with Chevrolet technology through the 1990s, a tribute to Raymond Louis' timeless design. <laughs> 